Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. After Age Now, and we're looking at the Smith & Wesson Model 19 Carry Comp K-Frame Revolver 357 Magnum with a 3-inch barrel. Model 19 Carry Comp. Now the Model 19 is a very classic revolver. It was developed in the 50s. Two years ago, Smith redesigned it and they're calling it the Carry Comp. And why do you suppose it's a Carry Comp? Well, check out that front sight. See the way it's moved back approximately a half inch from the muzzle? It has a compensated barrel. And the idea there is to push the gases upward, decreasing muzzle rise and recoil. They're calling it a power port. And that is pretty cool. Now, it also has a tritium front dot and adjustable rear sights. Rosewood rubber grips. I'm sorry, it comes with rubber grips in the case. Rosewood wood grips that I think look amazing the overall package is nice I, I really fell in love with it the first time i saw it it took a while before i got my hands on it but here it is now it has a carbon steel frame stainless steel barrel but a matte finish so it may look shiny because the the sun is beating on it but actually it's a matte finish and it, it along with that grip right there i think it looks phenomenal so we're going to take a few shots and check this thing out We'll go double action, see how it goes. I think I'm shooting high. There we go. Now I got it. All right. The one thing that the, the carry cop offers is less recoil and, and so many people have said that when they, they checked it out they said the recoil is less on that because it has that compensated barrel and I can't say that I've had much experience with revolvers with compensated barrels especially by moving the front sight back I like it that it's a tritium dot and that it has that uh, the very tall front sight and there's a look at the rear sight adjustable both ways but in order to further demonstrate this i'm going to move this around here and you can let me know if it actually decreases the muzzle rise i uh, miss it just there we go i certainly feel it now one of the things that this is, well, it's a K-frame, so it's got some weight behind it. Just over 34 ounces unloaded. It also comes with that rubber grip that I'm, I'm not interested in, to be honest with you. I, I like the, the wood grip there. But it also has the compensator. So you combine those three things. For those who are recoil sensitive... You can see why they're calling it a carry comp. It's, it really takes the heavy 357 Magnum load and, and deadens that recoil quite a bit. Let's go ahead and fire it some more and check this beauty out. Let's check out the single action trigger pull. One handed. This is an impressive revolver. I'm very happy with it. When I checked it out at SHOT Show, I really fell in love with it. The first thing that struck me was the look. I like the grip, and I like the way that's compensated, but that tall front sight that's, that's ramped up, it is serrated. It's got a tritium dot in there, and you'd never know that. But the overall length on this is eight inches. The MSRP is $1,112. Now it is a performance center, a Smith Performance, performance center gun which basically means they take a standard firearm and they make it a lot better and that's what they did with this now let me talk about the trigger itself it does have an over travel stop right there right there so when pulled that reaches the very back touches the frame and the trigger is stopped it's a, the over travel is impossible now the single action trigger pull is just a beautiful 
trigger pull. I mean, it just hardly shifts. I didn't measure it yet, but I would guess right around three and a quarter pounds. This is just a, a range review that I, I needed to do because I got the revolver. I wanted to check it out right away. I'm super excited about it. I think that Smith came up with a real winner here. I know a lot of people that have checked it out. They really love it. They say it looks beautiful. It fires outstanding. The sights are adjustable. I may need to tweak that a little bit. I just take I just took this out of the case. Um, already mentioned comes with a rubber grip as well. I have no interest in that, but people who are recoil sensitive may. There's a look at top. It does have some serrations there to cut down on the glare. And then of course that single action trigger pull is pretty amazing. The recoil is mitigated with that compensator and the heavy K-frame. Now I love the K-frame. You know, it's it's like a, a mid-sized revolver, three-inch barrel that is shrouded as well as the ejector, all right, completely shrouded. And then, of course, the counterclockwise cylinder rotation that Smith offers. All right, backed up a little bit. Let's go single action. All these loads are arms core, 158 grain, 357, full metal. I have to adjust the sight. I have to tweak it a bit. Let's see over here. Well, maybe not too much. All right. That's it. This is just a range review, guys. We're going to do a closer look at the Model 19 carry comp. Uh, it might table review, measure it all up, give you weights, loaded and unloaded, check out that trigger pull a little more, but I couldn't wait to get this to the range. Very excited about it. I think Smith has a real winner here, and I'm certainly excited to have it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.